Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Andrea. I thank all of you who watched episode one, Owl Babies, and I hope that you enjoy today's story as well. I've chosen to read Big Owl, another favorite in our household. When my twin daughters were young, they requested this story nearly every night. So we almost memorized all the words, we read it so often. I hope you like it as much as we did. This is written by Andrew Clements and illustrated by Yoshi. So here's some of the beautiful artwork that Yoshi did for this story, Under the Sea. Big Al. In the wide blue sea, there was a very friendly fish named Big Al. You could not find a nicer fish. But Big Al was also very, very scary. Have a look. Those eyes, those teeth. He is a scary looking fish. Other fish seemed to have at least one friend. Some had many, but Big Al had none. He did not really blame the other fish. How could he expect little fish to trust a great big fish with eyes and skin and teeth like his? So Big Al was lonely and cried big salty tears into the big salty sea. But Big Al really wanted friends, so he worked at it. First, he tried wrapping himself up with seaweed. He thought it was a great disguise, but no one else did. Who wants to stop and talk to a floating plant that has big, sharp teeth? Would you want to be friends with something that looked like that? Then he thought that if he puffed himself up round, the other fish would laugh and see how clever and silly he could be. All they saw was how big he could be, and they steered clear. That is a big fish, isn't it, when he puffs himself up like that? Very early one morning, Big Al went down to the bottom and flopped and wiggled himself into the sand until he was almost covered up. He looked much smaller. When other fish came near, Big Al talked and joked with them and had a delightful time. But then one scratchy little grain of sand got stuck in his gills and he, and he, he and he, and he sneezed. When the clouds of sand cleared away, all the other fish were gone. Big Al even changed his color one day so he could look like he belonged to a school of tiny fish passing by. He bubbled along with them for a while, laughing and feeling like he was just one of the crowd. But he was so big and clumsy that when all the tiny fish darted to the left and then quickly back to the right, Al, Big Al just plowed straight ahead. He went bumping, thumping right into the little fish before he could even say, oh, excuse me. They were gone and he was all alone again, sadder than ever. Just when Big Al was starting to be sure 
that he would never have a single friend. Something happened. He was floating along, sadly watching some of the smaller fish and was wishing they would come closer. As he watched, a net dropped down silently from above. And in an instant, they were caught. Can you see the fish caught in that big net? Big Al forgot all about being lonely and he forgot all about being sad. His eyes bulged out bigger and rounder than ever. And with a mighty flip of his tail, he opened his mouth and charged straight at the net. The net was strong, but Big Al was stronger. He ripped right through it and all the little fish rushed out through the hole. He rescued them. Big Al is a hero. But when Big Al tried to turn around and go out of the hole, he got all tangled up in the net. He was stuck. The net went higher and higher towards the bright surface of the sea. And the little fish watched Big, Big Al as he disappeared above them. When the little fish were able to speak again, all they talked about was the huge, wonderful fish that had saved them. How great to be free. But what a shame that that big fellow had been captured. Just then, there was a tremendous crashing splash above them and the small fish darted away. Was it the net again? Not at all. It was Big Al. Those fishermen took one look at him and threw him right back into the ocean. Even they were too scared to keep him on their boat. And now there is one huge, puffy, scary, fierce looking fish in the sea who has more friends than anyone else. Big Al. And that's the end of the story of Big Al. I hope you like that story. It's such a sweet story and a really good reminder about what's really important and about friendship and how we should never judge people by what they look like. Because what really counts is what's inside their hearts. I look forward to your comments below. I hope you enjoyed this story. And again, in the meantime, before I have another episode up, I hope you keep reading at home. Happy reading. Assalamu alaikum.